And welcome back to the Dark Cosmic Universe. My name is Avian Savage. Hey, this is kind of cool. Normally, I do, you know, like space stuff, uh, you know, or like figures that are from a different genre. Um, but one of my deep loves is comic book hero figures. And I've got quite a few, as you can tell. And again, to my Dark Cosmic family out there, to my cosmic comrades who are following the videos, thank you so much for following up and watching and being a part of the Dark Cosmic Universe. We are actually very lucky to have a certain someone. I'm hoping that she has broken the uh, cosmic barrier. Uh, Seashell, can, I, can you make an appearance here, please? Uh, she might not. I may have to give you an appearance. There she is. Seashell, hi. Of course, you can't see her eyes. How are you doing? Um, are you no longer going to be on camera here? Hello? Hi. Your fans, your adoring fans, are wondering what you're up to. She's like, I'm just hanging out here. I don't know, maybe she wasn't feeling good. Anyway, so, of all places, I went to GameStop. Yes. And I, you know, I wound up, I know you're like, where's this going? Here's my receipt here from GameStop. Again, I don't get endorsed by anyone else. Um, I happen to see these figures... I usually find them over at um, Walmart, which they're supposed to be Walmart exclusives. However, GameStop and I believe um, Amazon um, are also exclusives uh, to these figures. And when I saw them the other day, or actually, you know, I was like, ooh, I'm looking at them. And I'm like, you know, I've got Robin, I've got Flash. I'm like, I don't have Blue Beetle, this particular one, this particular version of Blue Beetle. So I said, why not? Now, the Blue Beetle was from Target. So don't everyone go, hey, wait a minute, I went to my GameStop, and I saw that. So they're about the same price. Again, here we go. Here's the McFarlane's. They're about $9.99. Uh, that, now, if you're a pro member, you save 50 cents. Not a pro member. That's okay. Um, and like I said, I've been wondering about the Superpowers um, line because I had vintage Superpower figures. I remember back in the 80s when Superpowers were the thing. And I'm thinking, what do you think, McFarlane? Are you actually doing a good job or not? I've had I've got mixed feelings about I got a mixed bag about this whole uh, superpowers here. So here are some of the figures that have been featured. Uh, I have featured some of them on here. Now, one thing to let everyone know is that some of these figures um, can have uh, some difficulty in finding. Now, if you take a look at the Robin here, he's a little bit different. The color is a little bit different. There we go. We got a little focus going on. Thank you so much. As you can tell, number 13 and 20, um, there are a little bit, there's some variations in this, and McFarlane decided to do it, which is really awesome. And now, I've been I, I've, I've been following the line. I have not been a uh, complete fan where i got to get every figure. Uh, so, uh, you know, again, I'll pick and choose. Now, for number 15, the reverse flash, very hard to find. Um, I will probably get the Thomas Wayne Batman figure. Uh, sometime and here's the Robin Tim Drake uh, version and uh, you know I, I just I'm a huge I'm a huge uh, Robin fan ever since Tim Drake uh, he took the uh, moniker of uh, uh, of Robin uh, again you know I I, I think Dick Drakeson is amazing uh, Jason Todd I've got my mixed feelings on him but that's okay so anyways so we're gonna open up these figures and we're gonna check these out and again, uh, if you're new to the channel, I do uh, unboxings. I wind up going to thrift stores. I go to retailer stores. Um, I also go to, let me think about online stores. Yes, anywhere with their toys, I'm there. And what do I do when I make sales on my eBay page, which is part of my description here, um, I recycle the money and I buy stuff like this so I can review it. Now, if uh, toy companies would like to send me this stuff for you know for purposes of review please feel free there might you can catch my email address um i flashed it up here on uh i flashed it up i posted it excuse me uh, i posted it here on youtube so let's open this figure up and we'll open up three figures today um so it's gonna be a longer video so uh if you do not like stuff like this check out my shorts i'm just gonna do a quick briefing on those uh with the shorts that's what i use with use that but let's take a look at the um, the card art, really cool, very reminiscent of the Superpowers line back in the 80s. Got to give um, kudos to McFarlane for that. All right, so the first figure, you know what? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to open all these up. 
and then we can do a review. Uh, again, uh, here's the Robin figure. I'm, I, I have my mixed opinion. Oop, there goes the card art. So much for that. Um, I'm going to do it off camera. Um, you know, I, I've got my mixed reviews in regards to the whole uh, Superpowers line. You know, I mean, there's some figures there that are a hit. And there's some figures that I'm, you know, it's kind of like a sleeper. So, you know, it, it's it's definitely a mixed bag with how I feel about this. But again, you know, when, I've been, when you've been collecting as long as I've been collecting, you kind of, you get your favorites. You know, you find a figure and you're like, that's it. That's, that's the version for me. Um, but I will occasionally... Uh, pick up uh, different versions of that particular character getting a different artist view. This thing is just coming apart um, Again the gluing I really wish that that's another thing. So here's the art. Here's the Tim Drake version um, Of this and, that, and I've got my my things on that. So here we go. So here's the Robin back if you're looking for that a uh, little uh, background can we focus please I Wish I could say that to my camera here um, so, and if you're looking for the uh, tag, which they covered it, thank you guys over at GameStop. All right, one more to do. But again, the card art is really, really cool. And as I remove the figures, there's stuff in the background. Of course there is, because that's what I do. All right, so here's the last one here. All right, so this is from, uh, this is a Blue Beetle. Uh, I'm not sure, this is for the, I think this is a more comic book accurate one. Um, so this is by... Uh, spin masters um, again I do collect three and three quarter inch figures so uh, and you'll see some figures that are kind of not in scale uh, and in scale so here is the UPC if you need to freeze frame uh, the video to do that and here's all the legal aspects of that um, so yeah all right so I've got these characters they'll be coming out I'm going to quickly um, take the blue beetle out now again I saw that at Target and this wasn't from the movie again. I believe this was from the comic book series. Um, I did see the movie figures there But I kind of did a pass on those because you know, hey, it's the movie, you know I mean, I've collected some movie stuff um, I've not seen the movie heard it was really good. Um, definitely will be um, I will definitely be Doing that. All right, so we've got the blue beetle out here again. We're gonna do a review of three figures here uh, again, thank you guys for following the videos. I uh, thank you guys for following the channel. Thank you guys for liking, subscribing, um, getting notified by by activating the bell icon here, so you can uh, definitely know when I upload some videos. Again, that's the UPC. So if you're looking at Target and you're wondering if your Target has it or if they don't have it, can we get a focus in here? Da, 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 there we go. Sometimes you kind of have to do that with the uh, camera here. And I'm going to take out the uh, surprise uh, packages here, or a package. Uh, these would be the accessories for the Blue Beetle. And again, pretty cool card art, you know. Um, so yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about that. All right, so let's do first and foremost, let's get the Blue Beetle here. Uh, again, I, get, I do reviews and I talk a lot too. So if you can deal with that, hey, I so appreciate it. Thank you guys for definitely checking out the video. All right, so... Um, He's just under four inches uh, for the Blue Beetle figure. Very well um, sculpted. It's got the scarab. I think it's on the back. Uh, very, very cool. Uh, you know, again, wicked awesome. I'm excited to get stuff like this. Now, he's got more than five points of articulation, as you can tell. Uh, again, let's see. Here, focus, focus. There we go. All right, so here's the focus on the figure. All right, so we've got the scarab holding on to the back. I don't know if the scarab comes off. I'm not going to try it. I'm assuming it probably does. But again, a really cool figure. Um, I, I've been a fan of the Blue Beetle. I'm not the new one. I'm not really so much up on my uh, Blue Beetle um, lore. But uh, I do know who the Blue Beetle is. Very cool figure. Lots of articulation. More than five points, of course. Uh, we've got the legs. Uh, we've got the arms. We have joints in the elbows. And again, I'm going to be very careful. I don't know if there's wrist articulation. I don't see any, so I don't think there's any. Um, but I've definitely, I've uh, I've been collecting some Spin Master figures, you know, um, Black Adam, uh, especially, you know, any of the movie stuff. And they're they're pretty good. I, I, you know, pretty good. They're I think they're really cool. Again, if you are a four-inch person, uh, you know, or a three or three-quarter inch uh, scale uh, person, you can definitely see how they fit in. And again, 
Uh, I've got my, uh, I can't believe I can I get to see this, my vintage Robin. That's so weird. But I gotta remember getting back in the 90s. All right, let's open up. Uh, this is The Flash. This is Wally West. And as you can tell back here, I've got some other uh, Wally West-like uh, uh, versions. And uh, I'm going to take a look at this one. Now, again, superpowers, you know, that's near and dear to my heart. I was a kid when uh, it all went down in the 80s. And, uh, you know, the figures were awesome. Uh, the articulation was pretty cool. And there are little gimmicks, which is cool. That's what made superpowers superpowers with the gimmicks. And let's check, check it out. Here is the Wally West uh, Flash figure. Now, I am not a big Flash fan, just to let everyone know. I mean, I do follow the Flash. I do watch the Flash. Uh, you know, just it was one of the characters that uh, you know, never really, uh, you know, caught my eye. But, you know, very cool. Uh, again, really, uh, this is, um, I'm, I, from what I heard, um, it's a new, uh, it's a new color variation, uh, of the suit, which is pretty cool. Again, this is more like five parts, points of our, oh no, more than five. Um, so you got the arms, the head moves back and forth, pretty cool. And then you got, um, some knee joints in here. So that's your articulation, um, for the figure, but very cool. Uh, and like I said, you know, I'm not really a big Flash fan. I, I do like Flash. Flash is a really great addition to um, any team membership. Uh, you know, the JLA, the Justice League. And again, um, for me, the Flash was a very serious character as a, as a kid. A um, uh, really good uh, character. Uh, definitely an um, integral part of the DC Universe. And again, I, I got to say, compared to... Um, this is the Total Justice um, Flash figure, which is again five points of articulation. Ultra buff. He's 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 been hitting the gym. We'll just say that. Um, and you know, again, you can definitely see uh, the difference. But these are pretty cool figures. Again, uh, I do like the slender outfit. Looks really cool. I like it. It's almost a maroon figure, a uh, maroon color for the suit, as compared to your Flash. Uh, you know, your red. Which is, again, you know, Flash is a really cool character. Uh, I did follow the TV show, actually saw um, the actor who played the Flash. Not the comic, not the uh, TV, uh, not the movie one, uh, but the TV one, which is pretty awesome. He is awesome, and I can't think of his name, but here we go. So, the superpower figure, just under 5 inches, so these are a little bit bigger um, than the scale that I usually get at. But these are, again, what a cool figure. And again, it'll be great for an addition to the collection. Uh, you know, it's Wally West, so like going with, and I can't remember, this is the Teen Titans. So let's take a look and compare um, with the, the two different Flash versions. And, you know, total difference. I think it's the same character, the same person. I'm not sure. 100%, again, I, I kind of like, I binge watch shows. And, you know, I don't know the characters. Again, the Flash is not my strong point here. Um, but... I think it's what the Kid Flash. Um, very cool. You know, again, here's the... Uh, uh, here, oh, I'm trying to... I just said it. Um, it'll come to me. Um, the series. And I do apologize. My mind's like not thinking. Uh, Total Justice. This is the Total Justice. And remember, I got these from KB. And uh, again, he towers over um, the Superpowers one here. Or the McFarlane Superpowers. And there we go. Knocking down figures, as always. So if you do collect any of these figures, I definitely, I'd like to hear more from you guys. You know, just get the conversation going on. All right, so the one that I wanted. Now, he did not come with any, um, did not come with any uh, accessories. Usually Tim Drake had the uh, the bow. Uh, and my one back here does not have a bow. Um, so I know you're like, all right, so what's your point? Uh, it'd be kind of cool if they had an accessory. And... Try to pop them out. Hopefully, it pops right out like the other one. Um, and there goes Kate Botham. That's okay. Now, the difference from the first version of the Tim Drake is from uh, from the McFarlane. He had a yellow cape. Not really fond of the yellow cape. That's not again like when I was introduced to Tim Drake. He had the two tone cape, and you'll see back here. We'll compare compare and contrast these. And then I'm going to go into my uh, figure line. So here we go. Now, I do know there are creators out there 
that will make a two-tone cape. Now, this is probably the better version of the two. Again, that's my opinion. Um, the, the outfit is a lot darker, which is cool. The R, if you can check it out, it is almost at a slant as opposed to Robin's like regular R. So we'll take a look here, uh, the Teen Titan Robin. And as you can tell, the R's are a little bit different, but uh, still, even with this particular one, it was a two-tone cape. You know, uh, I think it was Bandai that made these. I mean, at least Bandai had, had the courage to continue on with Robin and not get into that and giving them that look. And again, I maybe I'm just like, a, I'm petty too much, but that's okay. But you know what? As a comic book person um, who follows the series, you know, when you guys introduce a character, you got to give him his kudos. Okay, now I will have to say one thing. Um, I do enjoy... Uh, I'm pretty excited about that the mask... Get focus here, please. Let's just do this. There we go. All right, so the mask looks a little bit more... Uh, more comic book accurate, in my opinion. Uh, again, it is a darker red, which is good, and I'll compare that to the one back here. Uh, it's got the darker um, leggings, uh, the leggings, yeah, the the stuff. But again, he's got the uh, the thing I didn't like. It looks like he's wearing underwear. You know, hey, you know that was cool way back when. But let's take a look at some of the sculpting over here. Um, so the gauntlets on his arm and then the power padding on the arm pretty cool uh, the belt goes all the way around now it is a more like a gold belt which i thought it was pretty happy with now I, again they do make two-tone capes all right let's go with the vintage robin which i've called my holy mecca over here and you can tear you can see the the vast difference now again this one being a little bit shorter uh, my robin over here of course he looks more like frankenstein with the uh with the buzz cut on there, a little bit different. But again, this was like the original, uh, this is the OG uh, when it comes to Tim Drake. When I think of Tim Drake, I think of this one. Um, look at the belt, it kind of goes down. It's got a little more articulation on it. Um, Robin is not as chunky. And again, maybe he got to hang out in the back cave and was eating, oh no, it was, uh, you know, potato chips a little too much, but that's okay. Uh, but again, we do a side by side comparison to them. Uh, I do like the wave in the hair. All right, I appreciate that. You know, that McFarlane put the little extras on doing that. Uh, again, with Robin, he should have, again, when he had him, he had that, like, that spiked hair kind of look. Robin over here to the left, he's got, you know, the hair kind of coming down. And, again, still has that uh, that gold, that dark, oh, kind of, yeah, dark gold, which is kind of cool. Um, the belt, you know, I don't know. I kind of like the one over here, and I like who I like, and that's okay. But, uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm going to do, see how tall he is. Now, the thing is, um, with the Batman and the Robin, uh, Batman and Robin are actually scaled almost correctly, so Robin's a little bit shorter. So, Robin, this Robin is just over four inches, almost under four and a half inches. So, he's more to the superpowers line that um, McFarlane is building as a universe which is pretty cool and again yeah you know to have another robin yeah i'm okay with that and it does look really cool together and let's get the camera over here so you guys can see but as i did promise for me as a kid um it was me with saturday morning cartoons now this is the animated apache but still a cool character so if you knew who he was in the the series and i had to like kind of put him in here uh, you know, that was superpowers for me. Um, also, in the superpowers line, we did have a Black Vulcan. Black Vulcan's a cool character. Very, very cool. Uh, and again, you know, just... You put them in scale, put them next to each other. They do fit really well. And... We've got the Pharaoh. Yes, this is the vintage one. So, you know, I want to compare a vintage superpowers to the scale that McFarlane has going on here. And I know that, um, let's see what we have here. Okay, so they look actually pretty good together. Uh, one has a gimmick, one doesn't. And like side by side comparison, they do go in, they do go well. So, okay, so kudos to McFarlane for doing that. So appreciate that. So as a collector, 
Oh, yeah, yeah. I totally forgot. Before I forget. Um, this is the Total Justice... This is my Total Justice Blue Beetle compared to the one over here. Now, of course, he towers over more muscular as opposed to the more modern version of the comic book. But when I think Blue Beetle, I think the one over here. I'm getting older in my comic book age here where I appreciate uh, the more vintage-like looking characters. And that's another story. We'll get to the, you know, I'm back on this like vintage kick here. So, all right, let's keep going through the superpowers line that I do have here. All right, so we said Electro, you know, that was his call, claim to fame. And of course, check it out. Speaking of superpowers, yeah, Samurai, that's right. So I'm just going to compare Samurai over here uh, with Robin. Okay, so, you know, they kind of fit in scale. Uh, he is a little bit shorter, which is good. Um, and the cloth goods, I think, I'm not sure. They're doing pretty good over here for being over, what, 30 years old? I, I mean, again, from the vintage power, superpowers, very, very, very cool. And again, they stay, they all stack together, you know. And the last but not least, da -da -da, Cyclone, gotta love it. So, here is a vintage, can't believe I'm saying vintage. Uh, superpower figures and we'll take a look how they all compare together and again when you do team building when you do world building when you put things together and I'm gonna put this down here so everyone can take a look how do they look all together let's tear and compare it so here we are and there's some plastic here I gotta move out of the way isn't that fun about my uh, videos here if I had a bigger studio yeah we'd be good all right, so anyway, so here we go. So, today's video, we wound up opening up, so the Blue Beetle, uh, the Tim Drake Robin, the Superpowers Robin, uh, the Wally West Superpowers, uh, hold on here, I think here, da, 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 um, the Superpowers Wally West McFarlane toys. Uh, you know, I, I can now say, you know, kudos to McFarlane for what he's doing. Uh, I wish there were more bad guys in the lineup. That's the only gripe that I've had thus far. And again, they're about $10 a figure, which is pretty reasonable, I think, for today's standards uh, for toys. So, yeah, definitely, I'm going to say that's a positive. All right, guys, so that was my review today. Uh, the Blue Beetle, the Flash, Robin, pretty cool figures. If you do not have them in your collection and you do collect superhero figures, around this, you know, the four inch, five inch scale, you know, smaller than the uh, than the six inch line, which I won't even touch because they're just, for me, they're just too big. Um, but this is the kind I like. And again, they all fit together, you know, they all fit together, they all fall over. And that's the great part about my videos here. So yes, that was my review. I'm gonna say yes to these. So if you do have them, oh, you know what we didn't do? We didn't open up the weapons. We can do that real quick. Because a lot of people like it when I do the opening. So, yes, we will do it. We'll see what's in here. Almost uh, had a, uh, another video here. Let's see what the Blue Beetle comes with here. And let's check it out. I'm going to have to open it off camera. I don't know what he comes with. All right. So, here is what the Blue Beetle comes with. All right. This is pretty cool. Oh, so the accessories that the Scarab makes. Very cool. That's a cool thing. I gotta admit, um, pretty impressed with it. You know, and I thought there would have been like that was it. There's only two accessories in here. So now you know what triggers in there. The translucent, which I do love translucent stuff. Um, you know, translucent has another near and dear part to my life here. So yeah, so here it is. Check it out. Thank you guys. I so appreciate. It. I went over the the 25 minute mark. I. You know, normally I try to make my videos as short as possible, but if you'll check my shorts out just to say, uh, to see what I've got here, I so appreciate it. All right, guys, that's it for my review. So I appreciate you guys checking out the videos. Thank you guys for liking it. We're almost at 450. That's pretty awesome for subscribers. So please, if you would, give a like, give a subscription um, adding, because again, you know, it doesn't cost anything. Uh, check out, 
Oh yeah, again, check out my, make sure you turn the bell, uh, the bell icon. I, I'm again, a little under the weather today, so I'm trying to do the best I can. Uh, yeah, activate that bell icon so you know you get notified. Check out the comments, check out the description. I've got the links to the Facebook, to the uh, TikTok, which I will throw some videos up there. Um, also on, uh, check the eBay store out. So again, when we sell stuff, I can buy stuff like that and do reviews here for the channel, for the Dark Cosmic Universe. All right, everyone, that's at the end of the video. Thank you guys. If you stuck it to the end, stuck it out to the end, I so appreciate it. My name is Avian Savage. This is the Dark Cosmic Universe to my Dark Cosmic Comrades, to my Dark Cosmic Comrades, and also my Dark Cosmic family out there. You guys know what I say. Say it loud and proud. Stay cosmically insane, my friends. Keep collecting those action figures. Keep collecting those action figure toys. And definitely stay tuned here on the Atubosphere when I do videos like this. Uh, the unboxing, unveiling, the my honest opinion on what these figures, if they really go good with the stuff uh, with your collection. From one collector to another, we'll see you soon. I'll see you guys. My name is Avian Savage. See you soon here on the Atubosphere. Don't forget... I've got videos over 300. If you want to do some binge watching sometime, check out and see what the collection's all about. See what I've shown, and I so appreciate it. We'll see you soon here on YouTube.